when you lose somebody that you love out of your life, um, yeah, sometimes it's good just to go for a walk in the bush, just to get out there and let it all wash away. And uh, in the words of that great country singer, Willie Nelson, uh, it's not something you get over, it's something you get through. Now, uh, the beauty of life is that it always renews. As one thing goes, another one comes up and it, it makes you realize that nothing is forever except forever. So uh, one thing that does get us through tough times has always been our Border Collie dogs. Um, very, very close to Judy and I. Uh, I've been breeding them now for yeah, 35 years or more. Uh, very proud of those dogs. Well, one of the things we've lost lately was our old dog, Chockey. Now, he was an old warrior. Literally hundreds of people have hunted with he and I out there for everything from red deer and chittle to scrub bulls and pigs. And uh, with his passing, we were lucky to have his bloodline still there and a dog that we call Dash and in our big dog Whalen and Skunk. Look, you should not be chasing him in your condition, Dashy girl. Look at your condition. And uh, we had a litter of pups there early in the year. And there was quite a few people that, that wanted a pup, but there simply wasn't enough pups to go around. And uh, the pups that people have got are, are turning out really well. There's uh, one that's living the dream with her new mum, little fly there, and from what I can gather, she's, she's turned out just fine. Um, we've got another little guy up there in Rockhampton that's already chasing pigs, uh, just six months of age, and he's already showing tremendous style. He's showing the ability to to listen, come back when he's called, be steady, and uh, go out and use his own initiative, which is exactly what we want to see in our dogs. So that's how Hardy started working, straight out of the car. We've got another pup there, a little bitch pup, that uh, her new owner is training her to be a trial dog, and uh, she's already showing brilliance that, uh, yeah, we're just very proud of the way she's coming up. Another little pup was brought back to the, uh, to the lodge there recently and uh, even though this pup has been sort of spent the last six months in sort of suburbia, as soon as it was presented with our little uh, pet rooster deer there, our little quiet bottle reared rooster, then young Prince showed that he has that quality as well so uh, the pups are really turning out good. Well, a couple of days ago, as I said, life renews and Dash had another litter. So uh, there's uh, seven beautiful little pups there on the ground. Dashy, good girl, Dash. What do you reckon, Mum? What do you reckon, Mummy? Dashy. Yeah, what do you reckon? Look at those, aren't they beautiful? Look at this. And the big thumper, look at them, big tricolour. The father again is duck, 
So duck goes right back to our very original uh, bloodlines that we got from um, a couple of breeders, our Scott Lithgow bloodline, which I believe is the best bloodline I've seen in this state ever. So they go right back to the old moss and the old hemp lines. And now as we're going through these crazy times in the world when we're seeing tyranny take over from freedom, uh, when things get you down, I know a lot of people are contacting me all the time that they just cannot believe with the way society is going. And my message to them is take a bit of time to breathe, get out in the bush, go for a walk. If you've got a border collie, take that with you because they're the best mates you can have. And uh, have faith, be strong. Um, Love those around you because you don't know how long you've got them for. And uh, above all, stand upright, square your shoulders and fight hard.